smooth. Well, snails have a highly muscular foot that is adapted for traveling over hard surfaces. So snails such as this land snail move by gliding along their muscular foot through succeeding waves of muscular contraction that move up and down the foot from their tail to their head. Now these waves of contraction can be clearly seen when a land snail is crawling on a transparent surface such as a window. Snails also secrete mucus to help prevent desiccation and drying out. And mucus also helps it to move by reducing friction, making the ground a slippier and easier surface to travel on, meaning that snails can even crawl over sharp objects such as razor blades without getting injured. Cockroach. The cockroach has three pairs of legs that help it to walk and two pairs of wings that help it to fly. A cockroach moves its legs with the help of muscles near the limbs. It uses its breast muscles help to move its wings and fly. A cockroach can walk, fly and even climb. A cockroach can move in different terrains like sand and wired meshes because of the spines on its legs. ...the molecular machines inside the flagella through cryo-electron tomography. Thousands of motor proteins, called dynenes, are arranged regularly along the microtubule scaffold. Through classification, we identified several different functional states of the dynenes as they step along the microtubules. We demonstrate a detailed stepping mechanism. From the relaxed post power stroke state, the dynenes release from the microtubule, swing forward, and rebind to the microtubule. During the power stroke, the cargo is pulled forward by the action of dynene. As long as ATP is present, dynenes continue to walk along the microtubule. However, if dynenes receive inhibitory signals, they can be kept in intermediate states that resemble the post power stroke state, leaving them unable to generate motion. Our direct visualization of specific dynein conformations on either side of the flagella suggests a switch inhibition mechanism generates the flagellar beat. As one side is inhibited, the other side is active. In our model, regulatory signals result in inhibited dynenes on one side. This allows dynenes on the opposite side of the flagellum to walk along the microtubules. Molecular linkers resist this sliding which causes the flagellum to bend in one direction. By periodically switching the side of dynein inhibition, the flagellum alternates the direction of bending, resulting in the typical whip-like motion. The propagation of dynein inhibition in different regions of the flagellar wave along the length of the flagellum leads to the characteristic beating motion. The dynein inhibition